previously on The X Line. Jeremy, you ran up a $1,400 phone bill. It's tough being the mom, the manager. We're gonna do two heaters underneath the tent here. There's a lot of times where I just wanna be the wife. Dude, I gotta go to Australia in a week. I'm bringing my girl, and I'm about to post her. Shut the fuck up. Nicole and me have been through so much shit, but I don't wanna lose her. I love her so much. But you know I wanna marry your daughter. It's about time. Tonight on the X-Files. Before I leave to Australia, I wanna put as much family time in with my kids. Don't tell mommy we came here, okay? <laughs> mommy will get mad at daddy. I don't even think I've ever just been his wife. It's seriously like... Honey, I want to go. It's just a lot. I can't do that if I can't leave the kids. What are you doing? I planned for the whole day for us to hang out. Everything revolves around Jeremy. I'm just so fucking over it. You know about Australia, right? You know what about Australia? The contest got canceled, but there's another one that's even bigger, like a crazy concert. <laughs> that I want you to come to Thanksgiving weekend. So going to Australia, Nicole thinks I'm bringing her out there for a BMX event. What she doesn't know is that I'm not. I'm actually bringing her there to ask her to marry me. She's got no idea, and I'm just really looking forward to this whole trip. So on Thanksgiving, we're not gonna be with the kids? No. Honey. Well, we're going to throw a big one. I get two turkeys. Oh, a big one? That's a big deal. I know, but you're a big deal. Oh, my gosh. Obviously, it means a lot to me that Corey wants me to go on this trip, but it's Thanksgiving. I don't know. I don't get it why I have to go to this particular contest this far away for this long. No, honey, I can't do that. I can't do it. No, you can't go to Australia and then back and come to I can't do that. It's too much, honey. I'm a mom. That's my whole entire full-time job. I can't leave the kids. I'm going to propose to her. It's like the biggest thing that I've ever done in my whole life, and I can't get this chick to get on a plane and meet me in Australia. Not She doesn't know that it's going to be awesome. Australia, you got to come because it's going to be fun. You already got my ticket, right? Yeah. So there's no change in my mind, huh? Nope. Have some sparkling wine. It's supposed to be champagne and orange juice, but I ended up I got something different on accident. Oopsie. Yeah, it's a lot. Come in. Hi. Hi. I'm really happy that the girls are coming over today. They've never seen my house, and it'll be really nice to be able to tell them how I feel about going to Australia and just kind of someone to vent to, you know. Whoa. Whoa. Muffins, Whoa. Strawberries. Our muffins and none of your damn business. Hi, Susie Q. I'm feeling the Big Bear cabin. <laughs> what is this? I just bought it for the person. He's a, he's a lumberjack. <laughs> Babe, will you get London? OK. So what's going on? Corey got me a ticket, and I'm going to Australia. I'm leaving for seven days. Seven days? Are you yeah. kidding me? Who's okay, watching the kids? My mom's going to come every day. Oh, please, you know what? They're going to be so taken care of. It'll be fine. And you'll cry, and then you'll have a good time, and you can bring them back a bunch of crap from Australia. Yeah. And I just don't know how I'm going to do it. It'll be fine. They'll just help. call every day yeah. and talk, yeah. and, and they'll be good. You know, it's good for them, too, to sort of be you know, on their own without you and, and getting used to that. Yeah. I definitely don't expect Denise to, you know, understand where I'm coming from about leaving the kids. I appreciate her, you know, kind of pushing me to go and that's nice and I, I know she means well, but she really doesn't know and she won't know until she has kids. With Jeremy, I'm like, I'm being a mom and then I'm doing everything, you know, for his work. I don't even think I've ever just been his wife because even before we got married, I was already you know, running the whole show, doing everything, yeah. you know? There's no romance. It's, it's sort no. of like... You know, I'm so thankful that God has blessed Jeremy with so many talents, but at the same time, like, I feel like we're just business partners. It's really hard being the wife. I feel like Jeremy's forgotten what it's like to be romantic. I want us to go and have fun like how we used to before all this career and business. I want to have fun. You know, take me out, show me a good time, spend time with me. 
I'm like racking my brain right now trying to figure out what we do different and why maybe I feel like I have time with him. I mean, at the end of the night, we put the kids to sleep at 8 o'clock, and that's our time. And we stay up for until like 11. And you don't have like do? work left over? You don't have no. to like go over everything? No, nope, not me. No, no, because I don't do that part yeah, of it. You do. have a huge yeah. responsibility. You took on a lot. You do a lot. It's seriously like... <gasps> Sis, oh no, don't cry. I'm just like really sad about it. I can't even remember the last time was that we even just like did anything that didn't Outside involve of... business. It's like we we like seriously go out to dinner to talk about, you know, the next race or, you know, what we're going to do with his sponsors next year. It's like it's never, it's, it's never you. us, you yeah. know. I think that you guys need to set aside like three days a week and two hours out of those days. It may not sound like a lot, but that's what a lot of relationships, that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like when they get home from work, then they have dinner together, whatever right. it may be, but that's I what agree. keeps it going, you know? After talking with Nicole and Denise, I think that it's really important that Jeremy hears it from me and that we figure out a way to make some changes. You're gonna have a great time in Australia. Yeah, And I if know. you need support, I'm here, she's here, and you too. So come out and see you and call me any I just need some sleep. If yeah. I get some sleep, I'll stop crying. Fine. I'll you be myself then. again. Coming up. I feel like we work together more than like we're married together. He just is a big kid. You're grossing me out. Trey, guess where we're going? Before we leave to Australia, I want to put as much family time in with my kids. Don't tell mommy we came here, OK? Yay. Over not having like any time to hang out. You need to do that again. So while I'm doing this, you can think of something fun for us to go and do this weekend. A day off. I really wish that Jeremy would just take the initiative to recognize how I'm feeling and come up with a way to fix it. Give Daddy kiss. Mm -hmm. I feel like we work together more than like we're married together. Yeah. Let's change that. We haven't done anything together in a long time. In a long time. I'm over it. You're savvy. You promised me that you weren't going to do that anymore. <laughs> promised me that? Don't. Really? <laughs> There's nothing to <laughs> Look, See? she's like, Mom, stop playing. No, she's like, Dad, you're grossing me out. She's like, she can't even eat. I want, like, one whole day. No phone. No friends. No farting. You got it. Am I going to have to put, like, a reminder in your phone? <laughs> no. So that you don't make other plans? No. Saturday's our day. Before I leave to Australia, I want to put as much family time in with my kids. It's really important to me to let my son know dad's home and his dad loves him. What do you want to be when you grow up, Trey Trey? If you could be anything in the whole wide world, right now, what would you want to be? BMX. No, I don't want you to ride BMX for a living. I want you to go to school. Be smart. This sport doesn't pay that much money. So I need you to use your brain for a living and not your body. I want to be an army. Did you want to go to the army? Yeah. Over my dead body? I might be in a tank. As much as I don't want to say it, he's a lot like me. And boy, that's scary. <laughs> well, can you get over all of them? Yep. No, don't pedal. Slow down. Nice. Feet off, feet off. Oh! oh. <laughs> Son, you were riding on your testicles. You know what those are. Those kind of hurt. The two round things you have down there, you can't sit on those things. You might need them one day. You understand? What? Your testicles. Your balls. You're gonna need those. You can't sit on them, okay? I'm gone so much that when I am home and I get to spend time with my son, I want to make sure we have that quality time, basically. And I get to listen to him and, and see what he's thinking and how his mind's working, what he's up to in his head. And if, if I don't like it, I can put my two cents in. You wanna ride some more? Go see 
grandma. Finally, Jeremy is giving me a whole day. I'm so excited. I'm getting things done, and I got my mom to watch Savvy. I want to do something romantic and spend time together and really, you know, make the most of our one day. Let's go see what Dada's doing. What are you doing? Tedesco just called me. I got to go shoot photos real quick for an ad that's due. I planned for the whole day for us to hang out. You're really gonna do this right now? I have to. No, I don't think that you do have to. Huh? I don't think that you do have to, Jeremy. Well, babe. It's my job. I gotta go ride. I gotta I know, go shoot you do photos. I your job every fucking day, Jeremy. I know, but that's what I get paid to do. Come here, I gotta grab my bag still. You know it's gonna be all day. Just do some emails or something. I'll be back in a little bit. It's not gonna take me that long. I'll be back, all right? Nice, Jeremy. Sizzle is definitely overreacting a little bit. Like when you're on top of your game, like you're getting calls all the time to do stuff. And most of the time she's cool with it and like she'll get over it. You can't tell them no one time? I just promised them I'd go. Like I told them I'd be there. And what'd you promise me? Same thing, but it's not gonna break us, is it? I'm sorry, babe, but I gotta go ride. I know, but I just don't think that you understand like how important this is for our marriage. Like when was the last time that we got to hang out, just me and you, I don't for even a whole remember. day. It's like a whole freaking day, Jeremy. Like you have no idea how much like I need this. I said I'm sorry. I don't know what else you want me to say. I'm sorry. All right, I'll be back. I have to do it, Sis. I do get devastated when he changes his whole plan and wants to go and do something else. It's like. You know, the least that you could do is just do what we originally agreed on. Everything revolves around Jeremy's career. I'm just so fucking over it. Hey, Mom. Um, Jeremy decided that he's going to go and do a photo shoot. He just canceled on her whole day. I'm over it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep trying if this is what I'm going to get in return. You know, it's not fair to you. Like, you planned your whole day to watch Savvy for us. You know, and then Jeremy just thinks it's no big deal. Like, he can just change it however he wants. It's OK. I'll just be here with Savvy. OK, bye. Coming up. Don't tell Mommy we came here, OK? Yay. Mom's away. She got the night off. Daddy's going to bring the kids to a place called The Kilt. See what happens when Mommy don't cook? <laughs> Drama? Well, I cleared my whole day tomorrow. I have nothing going tomorrow. It doesn't matter. It's too late. I'm sick of relying on you. I'm sick of waiting on you. I'm not going to do it. You still irritated? Yeah, I'm irritated. You know, it's like I realize now that if I need something, that I'm gonna have to do it on my own. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for you. Well, I cleared my whole day tomorrow. I have nothing going tomorrow. I plan my whole day for tomorrow already. The whole day? The whole day. I'm having my mom pick up Savvy. I'm gonna go to the spa and just chill. I'm sick of relying on you. I'm sick of waiting on you. I'm not gonna do it. I should have stayed, I know, but. It doesn't matter. It's too late. Well, you know how it is. It always takes me a little bit to realize. It's not like I just, like, get it, you know? Susie's definitely upset at me for uh, going and riding the photo shoot, which is understandable. I understand I made plans with her and I should have kept them. I screwed up pretty bad this time. Well, I'm sorry. There's not much else I can say. Yep. I'm gonna go shower. We're gonna go to dinner. Say bye, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah before Corey leaves for Australia, it's just really important that he spends a lot of time with the kids. I mean, they really miss him when he's gone. So, I mean, every little, you know, hug and kiss, I mean, they take that with them. Yep, guess where we're going? Remember I told you? Yeah! Sure am, sure am! So I gave Nicole the night off from the kids. I'm leaving in the morning. So we decided to go out to eat, a little place called The Kill. Throw AJ in the mix, have him with the little ones. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, it's OK. Oh, he's going to flex for me. Oh, he wasn't he, he gets a little shy. He's a flirt. He's a flirt. He's got his daddy's jeans. Grab back my Yeah. That's your girl. 
You gotta treat her special. All you gotta say is, can I get your phone number? Can I get your phone number? Yes. Okay. Here she is, here she is, here she is. Here you go, babe. He's, he's got to ask you something. Go ahead. Ask you something? Go ahead. Ask me. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, put the chicken down. No, no. Can I have your phone number? <laughs> yes, Yay! 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 So you need to watch the degrees. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is good. Damn, I'm proud of him. He did good. He didn't let me down. He's off to the races with that shit. He's, um, he gets it. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared that, I'm almost kind of scared that he's, he's so good at it. Everybody, when we go home, don't tell mommy we came here, okay? Yay. Mommy will get mad at daddy, and daddy's only looking out for you guys, okay? Daddy would never come here if it wasn't for you. Susie's definitely right about needing more husband and uh, wife time. We definitely need more time together and get back how we used to be. It definitely sucks when I bum her out, so I gotta make it up to her and just make her realize why she's really with me. My plan now is to put some effort in and make her a good meal. Hopefully she likes it. Grandma? Hi. How the hell do I make a baked potato? Luckily, I have Susie's mom where I can just call her and ask her, like, yo, how do I do this? How do I cook that? And, like, I'm a fish out of water in the kitchen. I don't cook. Grandma. Hi. How do I, um, not grill vegetables, but put them in the pan? Do I put oil in them? Hello. Grandma. Hi. Baked potatoes aren't cooking. What's the, what's the quicker way to do it? I come to realize, like, it's fucking hard to cook a good meal. Home. How was the spa? Ah. <laughs> Dinner. I tried to make dinner. We'll see how it goes. I was really surprised to see Jeremy had a full three-course meal. And the fact that he really took the time to make it himself, that was way better than any other nice restaurant he could have taken me to. So was this hard? Yeah, now I understand why you don't feel like cooking all the time. It looks so good. Does it? Yeah, it looks really good. I'm make impressed. me feel good, babe. <laughs> Tonight, I'm so happy that I just get to be his wife. You know, it just reminds me of the real reason that we're married, and, you know, we really are in love. <laughs> All right, stop it. All right, take me to bed. I'm ready to go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna hook you up. <laughs> Let's do this every night. Yeah, you can carry me to bed tomorrow night. <laughs> Sound I don't good? wanna take turns. What's the deal? No. Kind of running late, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well now at this point you're gonna be late, so you might as well just stay. Let's just talk about uh, you. Leaving? you. So Corey's gonna be flying out uh, a week before I am, and he'll be in Australia. So I'm bummed. I'm bummed about that. I'm sad. Don't go, honey. Don't go. This is important. I got big plans for us, and I need your support. Corey traveling and leaving, and um, me just you know being with the kids and by myself, that is, this is my life. This is how it is. Honey, it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna have fun. Okay. I got our whole lives figured out. You do? Tell me about it. It's so hard to see my baby sad right now, and it's so hard for me not to say, honey, don't be sad, because I'm gonna propose to you when you get there. We love you, baby. Love you. Love you. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, baby. I love you. Bye, honey. I love you. Bye, daddy. I'm gonna miss you guys. We'll miss you. I love you. See you in Australia. Next time on X Life. I have meltdowns once in a while, but I'm entitled to them. I just think that I've had some reservations about your relationship. I didn't really appreciate the attack. How could everybody 
else's boyfriend show up on time and you're late. Why does a life It's not supposed to be this way. I don't want to defend myself all the time. But then, like, why are we even together?